people in Kenyan ghettos read for leisure. Okay, just off the top of my head, I'd say no. Because um, there's many reasons, mainly economic constraints. And then again, there's the issue of literacy. Um, this is not I'm not saying this in a way that to look down at them, but really in a way of empathy, because it's, these are issues that need to be addressed. That need to be addressed. Um, like somebody who is struggling to pay their rent, somebody who is struggling to put their children through school, will not in the evening. We'll find it pretty hard in the evening to just kick back and just read a nice, leisurely, long book. Um, because they're always trying to, 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 to think about the future. And in, in, in truth, reading is, is, a, is, is leisure. In the sense, it's a pursuit that is not done by... Um, that is, it's, a, it's a pursuit that does not generate... I mean, when you really don't make any money from doing that. And so people don't want to... We'll find it sort of a waste of time because I mean I have I have so much on my mind and you tell me to read this book and it's not giving me any money, I will not. And then again the issue of literacy. Um, a lot of people in the slums are not do not have access to, to to good education and and encouragement to read. And so probably that's another reason why they're not reading enough. And then many do not want to go to school. Um, or they're unable to access school for different reasons and that also contributes to it. Mm -hmm. So, say for instance, what, what's your message to young, um, young prospective writers? Yeah, mm -hmm. from say, Kibera, mm -hmm. Madari, mm -hmm. who look up to you and want to be like you. What do you have mm -hmm. to tell them? What, what do they have to go through to write a book like, to grasp mm -hmm. at a start? Well, they need to have the discipline. Um, they need to have the discipline to sit down and write, and uh, and very, very importantly, is persistence. Never give up. If, if it's something that you know that you can do, just go ahead and do it. Don't, don't listen to critics. Don't because many people like when I was writing and I'd say I'm writing a book, people would look at me like, yeah, you're joking, right? So it's something that they need to do it. If they feel that they can and they should, then let them do it because everyone has a message that's relevant to the society, no matter where they're from, no matter who they are. So they just need to have discipline and be very, very persistent, at making sure that they get publishers' attention and getting published. And they shouldn't give up even if they get rejections because rejections are a normal thing in the industry. Yeah. Writing industry. Yes. You've been watching. Mookie Garang talking to King of Comanche, the author of uh, To Grasp, Grasp at a Star, and um, she's given us some insights as to what it entails to be a writer and more so to be published. I'm Mookie Garang reporting for Ghetto Radio 89.5. To watch this, just click on www.ghettoradio.nl. We're at the book point. Kenyatta Avenue, Nairobi, Kenya.